Hello everyone, how are you all? And welcome to Low Code Bug. So, what I'm going to do from today is I'm going to create a new series, and in that series, I will be adding the smart services, right? So, basically, we will be learning about all these smart services one by one because uh, there is a lot of requests from you guys to tell me about the smart services and uh, different different type of smart services with the help of plugins or some inbuilt smart services. So, we'll be start doing that, and let's kick start so let's create a process model first so today what we will be going to learn is uh, the user creation smart service right to create a user to deactivate a user to reactivate a user we will see how to use that smart service and i'll be quickly creating a process model so this is my process model i, I can make it as sa create new user the description to create a new user and I can create inside the SF process model folders the basic security because uh, the process model is very in-depth right and there is a lot of features in the process model itself and whenever we need to add some new feature or we need to add some new smart service we can directly go and deploy the plugin right from the app market or uh, we can use whatever we already have so we will see and uh, today is the first day of this series so we will be starting with the user creation and user reactivation and deactivation and then we will move forward to the uh, record type smart services database smart services integration smart services and uh, let me show you one more thing which is the csv file smart services i guess it's in the documentation regeneration and documentation management so you can see there is a lot of pdf document from template copy document create folder create kc which is the knowledge center right there is a lot of stuff so today we need to search user here so if i'll search user then we can see that there is a smart service called create user right so this is what we need to use we need to understand this is smart service and if i'll search the user again then uh, or we can scroll down and let's cancel this if i'll scroll down then there is um this one i guess let's open this here identity management right so we have the add group admins and add group members add people in a group change user type create custom title create group create user which we will be going to use and deactivate user reactivate user will be there this one let me scroll down this one reactivate user right so we can deactivate a user by using the smart service or we can again reactivate that user by using the smart service right so let's understand this create user first so if i'll double click this smart service in the general tab we have name the description and display name this is fine we already know this so we can directly jump into the data in the data we have inputs and outputs in the inputs we need to pass whatever parameter is required right because uh, I'm, I'm talking a little bit technical right now so let's say uh, this as we all know that this whole environment is built in java and uh, this is smart service is also built in java so whenever we create a java function we have different different parameters there right but let's say we are having a sum function so whenever we will be passing some integer number inside that uh, some function these are all the parameters side right? so that's why we have this input section here similar to a function and whatever parameters is required we are passing these username first name right so let's see these parameters and all are mandatory most of them are mandatory so username is the username which we will be creating so let's just put a username which is let's say uh, lcb and underscore and new right so this will be my username and if i'll save this so i'm directly hard coding this value i can either do this or i can build an interface where the user can put the username and i can directly map that process variable in this value section right so right now i'm just hard coding this value and in the first name uh, we can again hard code the value i will hard code this low let's say key low key 
right so this is my first name and i need also need to set the nickname which is not mandatory so let's forget about this the last name is mandatory so first name and last name and username is mandatory we need to pass this so i'll be just putting test inside this and in the email because uh, whenever we are creating a new account the email is the required field right so let me use a random email let's say a at the rate a dot com right this is just a random email which we will be not using later on we will react de deactivate this user but just for testing purpose we can directly put the value right and uh, inside this send account creation email right so this is very important whenever we are creating account we need to notify the user that your account is created and this will send one automated mail with all the required details with the temporary password and every detail and i will make it as true it's a boolean parameter right so everything is completed and that's all my work is done and the new user which i will be creating i can again uh, store that value inside this uh, ac bank and uh, the custom output if i want to but i don't want so i will click ok so now if i'll save this and i will debug this so let's refresh it and it is completed so i will go in my sandbox again and i will go back to the user list so we'll see if this user is created or not and or i can also go inside the process details and see the variable list in the variable list we have this value it means this is successful right and also we can take a look at the user and if i'll see then this user is created right so you can see this one is created right so this is how we can create a new user and if i wanted to reactivate this new user which i have just created or deactivate it then i need to put this and i need to just pass the user details right so whatever user i'm creating right now if i'll again put the value here i need to put the value whichever user i need to reactivate or deactivate so i have this user parameter here i will copy paste and okay right or let's say uh what i will do now i will edit this process which i have already executed right because what i wanted to do the user i have already created now i just wanted to deactivate it to see it is working or not so i i have edited this so this is how we can uh, do modifications when the process is running and i can drag and drop this here here i can pass my variable which is already having the value and i can see this new username save and close that's all i need to pass my work is done here now what i will do i will apply the changes this is what we need to do whenever we are modifying something and i need to refresh this you can see automatically this new node is coming in between and what i will do i will start this node right because this node i don't want to execute it is already executed and let's refresh this so you can see this is completed right so if i go back to the user list and i will click on this user then i'm not able to see this user because the filter is already in place where we cannot see the deactivate user so now if i go in inactive then we can see that this user is deactivated right so this is how we can create a new user and deactivate a new user right so that's all for this video and let's see you in next video where we will be learning about other smart services thank you